I think that the, the current issue about the shortage of resources probably has less effect on the issue of industry, university cooperation than in many other areas of economic development. I think that um, university research as a whole, particularly in areas that government are interested in, will suffer less from the reduction in resources. And there has been, certainly in the UK for quite a long time, a significant government interest in supporting research which can be commercialised. But I think it's also true to say that um, public policy in this area is not the be-all and end-all of it. Um, I would think of, for example, big universities like Imperial College in London, where they know that their research is um, world class and which can and can be commercialized and where they know that large American venture capital firms will be interested in what they do and able to put funding and into their commercialization. Those sorts of private market initiatives will also have a great deal of impact. Uh, the big companies has a very essential role in, in the network. They are in many cases uh, initiating new projects and they are also supporting activities of the network. Uh, especially in cluster development projects, we have good experiences from the big companies supporting those uh, ideas and uh, projects we are running at the moment. Basically, all the development activities are originating from the big companies' activities. I would say it's very essential uh, what kind of uh, branches the big companies are representing in the region because all their activities are led by those traditions uh, and which are born by the, uh, by the big companies. I think the new challenge should be that we bring the global dimensions into the regional uh, policy that we bring the importance of, for instance, uh, other players into, uh, into practice, like multinationals, because RIS was mainly concentrated on knowledge transfer between SMEs and universities. These were the two basic pillars of the whole strategy. Also assuming that problems of SMEs within regions best could be solved by the knowledge institutes also in that regions, which of course is by definition limited when you take the starting point of an SME or the problems within an SME, then the problem should be solved by anyone who can solve the problem inside the region or outside the region. That's not uh, very relevant. 